welcome back to my channel. This is Tessa, the colorist. I wanted to start and talk about a little bit what I'm doing in the first part of this video. I am doing a speed coloring to update my logo for my channel. And what I did was I used some Stabler fine liner uh, pens and I did use some um, Faber Castell polychromo colored pencils. And my go to, I used the Windsor Newton White Spirit with a number one blending brush or blending stump sorry blending stump or stick whatever you want to call it uh, to blend out my favorite cast out color pencils at the end of this part of this video I will be talking to you guys and kind of quickly going over the how I uh, achieve the stop animation for my channel uh, for the uh, opener or intro to my channel. So if you guys want to know that, uh, I will have links down below for the timestamp so that you guys can jump to that if you want. I found this one just really fun to do because it was something unique and different. Um, if you guys want to know, I will put all of the descriptions of what I'm using in the description box below. I do have to say that I did use watercolor paper for this and it kind of gave it a very um, more textured or grainier look to the piece and I don't know if I like it, but we'll go for it and we'll see if that's something that I want to do in the future. So yeah, stay tuned and I will come back to you guys and talk to you guys a little bit about kind of explaining what I'm doing on screen when I do the stop animation. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Hi friends, so part of this uh, video I wanted to talk to you about how I am working in iMovie to show you how I quickly did my stop animation. So what I did was I took a bunch of photos and then I loaded them onto my computer into iMovie. And then once I got them into iMovie, I mean, or imported into the video, there's a little uh, circle with an I, undercase I, or lowercase I, uh, iMovie program. And what I did was I went into there and I set all of the images at a one or a point one percent, or point one, it's like a tenth of a second duration. And what that does is it allow it's the slowest that iMovie does and it allows you to be able to create it allows you to create 24 frames per second stop animation unfortunately iMovie only allows you to do 24 frames per second not the 30 frames per second so it does kind of make it look a little bit more wobbly but it does it does work and you can use other programs if you want to. You can use, I, I believe Premiere Pro allows you to do this. I know there's a bunch of different apps that you can use on your cell phone to do this. I know there's a bunch of different ones. And you can see that when iMovie imports these videos into the, or the images into iMovie, they're all upside down because that's how I film. I film from a top-down version of you, and so it's backwards. So. I always have to remember to flip my images and to make them go more of a, a front view. So yeah, so that's how I did my stop animation. I just took a bunch of pictures, moved the tray, took another picture, moved the tray a little bit more, and then I just basically just kept moving them and moving. And then once I got it to what I wanted it to look like, I had my video when. So you'll see in a few seconds um, how I how the video looks. You really don't have to do a lot. You just have to take a bunch of pictures and make sure that you just kind of move it a little bit. Take a picture, move it a little bit, take another picture, and you'll get the desired effect. Right now I'm having a little difficulty. Um, my computer isn't quite old, so I was trying to, I'm still struggling to get it to be the right direction so every time I rotated the images they weren't correct until I finally figured out that I was over correcting because my computer was being slow and I couldn't tell so yeah so once I figured that out I uh, uh, push play and let you guys watch this quick little animation and I kind of trimmed some of the images off because you don't really need it you wanted a little more So here's the final piece and that's how I did it and what I did was I took all those images or the still images and I exported them or I exported them and saved them onto my computer. And thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final piece that I did for this video and I really had a fun time. I'm Tessa, the Artful Colorist. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stay colorful and see you all next time.